welcome to the show today, baby. This is your boy Jimbo Dean, aka Jimbo Slice, aka Jimmy Obama. And you can call me any one of those you want, but please do not call me no damn New Orleans Saints fan. This is Pound for Pound ATL. And this is the first episode of Ask Jimbo. That's right, Ask Your Boy. I'm going to catch you on Twitter and, 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 and I'm going to drop it and I'm going to answer that question. So that's where that Twitter name come in. Hey, hey that's where that come in. Crucial. At Jimmy Obama, J I M M Y O B A M A. Follow me, send your questions every Friday. I'm gonna answer them, big dog. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Holla at your boy. Hey, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for whenever a Falcon Eye View come through, a uh, Think Tank come through, uh, at Big Mike Joint come through, or at Jumbo come through, you'll get that notification. You'll catch that video. You won't miss a thing over here at Pound for Pound ATL. Hey, man, we on the way to 4K, man. Trying to get that. Just to show y'all that, hey, look, we are doing our thing over here for y'all and for the Atlanta Falcon. And we here, baby. So, hey, without further ado, man, let's get into it. Had some really good questions coming off of Twitter. Really good questions. That's where I'm going to get most of my questions from. Unless in the comment, I see something that I really need to touch on. And then I'm going to hop on that. But until then, I'm getting them from Twitter. Go over there and follow me. Shoot the question. And off to the races. All right, man. It's been going on. Hey, shout out to my Atlanta Braves, man. Open the day. It is what it is. Happy Friday to everybody. Let's get it. Let's let's get into this first question, man. And I think this is a really good one as well. Now, this is a re- I got some really good, interesting questions that made me go do some research. and made me It made me think. You know what I mean? And so that's basically what I'm doing. And, and, and my first thoughts real quick before I get to these questions. I just want to say, we all just want to win, man. Arguments and opinionated that. You got your opinion, I got mine. But at the end of the day, we all just want to win ball games in Atlanta, man. Got to get on the same page with that. And if they come into our team, we need to pray and hope that they do their best. We don't need to be negative about our players, man. They on our team. Being negative about people that's already on our team and not supporting them and hoping they get better so we can win ball games, it, I, I, I swear, it just blows my mind. But me, I'm optimistic, man. Everybody that comes to my team, I think they're going to do whatever they got to do to help make this team better so we can win ball games and get this thing turned around because I'm sick of losing. Period. I don't give a damn what y'all are talking about. Anyway, let's get to it. First question. Holler at me. Anthony. Romero. What's up, Anthony Romero? Follow me on Twitter. He was one of the first ones to shoot me a question. So I had to do you first, big dog. Big shout out. Let's get into it. Now, the first question is good. He said, what position group on our defense will make an improvement from last year on the new defensive coordinator, Dean Pease? Oh, great question. So with that question, I had I just had to go back into Dean P's history, man. And every stop he done had from New England to Baltimore to Tennessee, Tennessee with the Titans, they've been good. They've been top. They've been top defenses everywhere he go. But what he really excelled at in making it look, make, making a position group really good, that was that outside linebackers. I he gonna say Jimbo, our linebackers are already good. We got top linebackers in the league. Yes, we do. Foye Olakun and Debo is doing their thing. I look to see him develop Michael Walker just a little bit more better and just think about that. And then you know he's going to get one in the draft. There's no doubt about it. He got to get his own guy. That's what I think the EMP is going to It's going to be later, but he got to get his own guy. Now, what I, 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 I said the outside linebacker group, but where this defense has really been lacking at for the Atlanta Falcons the last couple of years, and that is that secondary. We all can agree on that. Hey, leaving the comment if you disagree that the secondary wasn't the weakest link on this defense last year. So, Anthony Romero, I'm going to say that safety group. I'm going to say that secondary, but mainly that safety group simply off of what Dean Pease has did with his safeties and his corners in the past. And John Hope is in the building. Great defensive back coach. I've been following. I went and watched some film from when he coached over there at Maryland. The guy is getting them DBs back to fundamentals. That's what you want a DB to do. Get back to fundamentals and be simple when it comes to playing ball. That way, if, it, if, if you back the fundamentals and you playing simple, 
You don't have to think. You can just play fast. And that's what John Hope and that's what Dean Pease going to do over there. Now, when he, with, well, he, when he was with the Tennessee Titans, the thing he did for Logan, uh, Logan, Logan Ryan, uh, uh, Ben Yip, and, and uh, Vaccaro, who we won't, still watching you, big dog, and Adore Jackson, insane. He got he got Logan Ryan career after Logan Ryan left the Patriots, which was he with with with, with Dean Pease over there in New England. He brought him into Tennessee, elevated, just elevated Logan Ryan career. Man, I I watched that I, I watched the San Diego game in 2019, the San Diego game from 2019. He had Logan Ryan playing nickel, corner, safety, strong safety, and last but not least, get this, y'all. He had Logan Ryan lined up at outside linebacker one time, making plays in the backfield, sacks, interceptions, you name it. So I can see, but y'all finna trip out on this. I can see Isaiah Oliver with a little Logan Ryan in him. If Dean Pease can get a hope to him like he want to get hope to him. Same built frame. Isaiah was tackling last year now. Towards the end, once they moved him, he was tackling. So I see that safety group and, the, and that corner group, I see that I, I see them making the biggest improvement on the Dean Pease next year. Everyone in Dean Pease, think this out. In 2019, every defensive back in Dean Pease defense had an interception. Think about that for a minute. Everybody had at least one interception, which tells me they ain't playing no specific, uh, specific position. They moving all around. I seen him had a door Jackson at corner, safety, free safety. I mean, corner, strong safety, free safety. He was moving them around. It's all about the matchups from week to week. They ain't going to play the same position week to week. He's going to be moving people around in multiple positions. And I love it. And blitzing, the secondary, he finna blitz. DEPs came out and said if he can blitz every down, he would. He also said if he could blitz, he going to blitz from everywhere. You ain't going to know where the blitz coming from. Everybody can blitz in Dean Pease defense. And if he can blitz every down, he would. And, man, I love that. Hey, bring that blitz, big dog, because you got to blitz in the NFL in order to win a game. If you sit back, they're going to pick you apart. Holla at your boy. All right. Shout out to Anthony Rom uh, Romero for that question. And, yes, I think I did get your last name right, Anthony. Good to see you. See you on that live show. Stay tuned in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate the question, big dog. And on to the next one. Let's go. The next one, question I got on Twitter. And that was from Moran. Moran? Moran. Moran, you know who you is. You follow me on Twitter. Hey, I had to answer some questions for you there on Twitter, big dog. You didn't think I was going to do that straight up. Did that. Now, let's get to Moran's question really quick. Now, Maureen National uh, uh, off on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, we can't ignore the offensive side of the ball, even though it's been good for all these years. Ain't had no defense to match, but Dean Pease is in the building. So we might finna have a defense to match that offense, kind of like we did in 2017. Not 16, 17. Marquez Manuel. Anyways, but Maureen asked me, he said, how many points per game will the Falcons score knowing or uh, considering that the uh that they can run the ball effectively. If you give Matt Ryan a good running game where he can come off that play action like he did in 2016, sky's the limit. Offense can score points when you got an effective running game. Keep the defense honest. If you know football, you know that running the ball keep the defense honest. All right, you're gonna load that box and then I'm finna get a one on one with Kevin Ridley and Julio Jones. I'm loving that all day. I'm finna get a one-on-one -on -one with Hayden Hurst and a possibly Kyle Pitts. Watch yourself. You ain't gonna be able to stop that. I don't give a damn what running back you got in the backfield. If he get if he get productive running game at the ball, Mike Davis is already back there. So that is what it is. So you're gonna get some running game. You're gonna keep this defense. You're gonna keep the defense honest. And once you pull that defense in, you lure them in. You do that play action play play, uh, play action pass that Matt Ryan is so good at. We know this, and it's on and popping. You feel what I'm saying? You go if the, if the ball is being ran consistently and effectively, you're gonna get that box loaded. You're gonna create some more one on ones, and somebody's ass is gonna get boinked. It is what it is. 
I don't want to hear nothing else about that one. So in two, I'm, I'm going to get into some stats with the running game when it comes to Arthur Smith offense. In 2019, they were ranked 10th in the league in offense. Overall offense in 2019, they were ranked 10th. In 2020, they were ranked 4th overall in the league, which telling me he's balanced, which he is. Go look at it. He's balanced, man. He's going to give you 2-2. Two to two. He's going to give you 2-3. to three. Then he, go, I mean, hey, it, what, he might do three runs in a row. But one thing that uh, Arthur Smith do do, and you can go look at this up. On first down, we running the ball. We ain't doing no seven-step drop on first down, dirt cutter. We're not doing that. He running the ball 80% of the time on first down. 83% on first down, Arthur Smith running the ball. Give me three or four yards here and there on first down, we talking business. So, hey, if you can run the ball, like I said, 2019 ranked 10th, 2020 ranked 4th, overall offense. Come on, guys. 2019, 6.1 yards per play. That's either running it or throwing it. He's going to get six yards per play. That's insane to me. 2020, 6.2, consistent offense. 6.2 yards per per play. So in 2019, 6.1 yard per play. In 2020, 6.2 yards per play. He's going to average you. He's going to have you in there at 6, point, uh, a 6 to 6.3 yards per play. It, that's, it, that's, that's what we need. That keep those drives going. That get a defense rest. And then it just opened up a play. It opened up the playbook when you're averaging 6.1 to 6.2 yards per play. You can An offensive coordinator would love that. That's their dream. If they got that, they can call whatever they want. Defense don't know what's coming. And in 2019, they had 29 total touchdowns. 21 of those was rushing. So, Morin running the ball effectively, getting in the red zone and finish him off with punching it in. That's what you do. You got to punch it in on the, on the ground. So, 29 touchdowns, 21 of them was fucking, uh, uh, man, let's go. 2020, 33 touchdowns. 19 uh 21 of them 33 touchdowns was rushing touchdowns on the Arthur Smith for the Tennessee Titans. You gotta love it. We run in the ball. You can easily eat with that play action fake if you run in the ball like this. Can't not can't beat it. So I say yes when it comes to the question with the Falcon score, considering with the Falcon score and going go up, considering that we know we can run the ball more effectively. Or oh yes it indeed. Like I say, it's going to keep that defense honest. Shout out to Morin for giving that question on Twitter. Y'all holler at me. Next one, I'm moving on to one of our great fans. Wait a second. Let me hydrate. Uh, Footing up on the arm, boy. Getting a little hot in here, Jimbo Slice. Move on to the next question. Jaden. What's up, Jaden? One of our good pound for pound ATL fans, followers, Atlanta Falcon fans. Hey, salute, big dog. Thanks for sending me this question on Twitter. Jaden's question is, do you think Arthur Smith is going to make the O-line better? And my thoughts on Caden Stearns. Caden Stearns, that safety from uh, uh, Texas. I'll get on him in a minute. Now, as far as Arthur Smith making his offensive line better, of course he is, man. Arthur Smith, start. That's, what he, that's his forte. That's where he started off at. That's his bread and butter. He's an offensive line coach. Moved over to a tight end coach. That's what he do. Plus, he's the play caller. I was talking with Toby D about this the other day, and Toby D said he run plays to make the to, 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 to make up for the offensive lineman weaknesses. If he know you can't block on a seven step drop, he's not running seven step drops every other play like that because he know you can't do it. He's going to call plays that is in the positive for the offensive lineman that we're going to have blocking for Matt Ryan in 2021. He's just not jumping. We're running plays nilly dilly all over the place. And no, he can't run it. No, he can't execute it. He only going to run plays he knows his offensive line can execute, uh, execute, which that alone make the offensive line better next year. And not to mention, he's an offensive line coach. And not and bringing in Dwayne Lefford. Hey. I like this guy out of Louisville. He's one that helped produce that, that, that Mike uh, Beckton. 
Mikhail Becton, that offensive lineman out of Louisville that went in the first round. To the, uh, I think he went to the Jets. Guy's a good offensive line coach. Paired with Arthur Smith, offensive line history, and being the OC, and Dwayne Lefford played in this type of offense, offensive line is just going to be a little bit more better than they was the year before. I think so. And if you call and plays to the strength of your offensive line, they got to be, they got to succeed in that, right? That's what they do best, and you're going to call the plays just for them? Come on, man. And yes, and like I said, it, it, it won't hurt. It would not hurt to get at least one lineman in this draft. At least one. Won't hurt. But anyway, moving on to Caden Stearns. Jaden, you love this guy. You've been breaking him up a lot in, in the live chat. You've been breaking him up in uh, vi uh, recent videos, comments. I like Caden Stearns. He's a good, strong, hard-nosed running. He's a good, no hard-nosed free safety. Now, his size is a little suspect to me. His size, I don't know. But he can cover halves really good. As far as a deep third DP safety, where well, he's going to have to be versatile. I mean, you got to be a versatile safety. Like I just told y'all, safeties for DP's defense, they all over the place. They play multiple positions. And Caden Stern, I don't know, man. As far as running the alley, he did that very well. He had to do that well with the RPO that they ran in, Big Tw in, the, in the Big 12. He's a strong kid, got a good football mind. I can see him in the in the third and fourth round creeping around, and somebody gonna snatch him up. Now he's gonna come in and he's gonna make his money off of special teams, off rip. I like that about him. He hustle, and, and he gonna come if you pick him up. He gonna be on. He gonna be a starter on your special teams day one. I just want to see a little bit more size, man. He, I, I mean, he almost a little bit taller than Rico. But he almost kind of remind me of Rico a little bit. A little bit taller of him. He's a little bit taller than Rico. Faster than Rico. But, man, he can hit. Caden Stearns can hit. Don't get it twisted. And he got a good football IQ. Which which Rico had. But, I mean, got to put a little more height. A little more physicality. A little more speed to that. And that's pretty much what Caden Stern is. A Rico with a little more height. A little more speed. With that few, uh, football IQ. Played in the Big 12. Three, third, fourth round up in there. Somebody going to swipe him up. A special team, day one starter. If the Falcons take him, and if he, if he's around there later than that, and he come up on the Falcons board, he's probably going to be the BPA. And, 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 and Terry Fontenot probably going to pull the trigger on that. But, hey, man, we got nine picks, nine of them. You never know what might happen. Caden Stearns, good prospect out of the University of Texas. Run the alley very well. If he get drafted, special teams, day one starter. I like him. He, he, he just got he, he man. It, 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 it's the Big 12. I, I, whew. If he played in the SEC, I don't I don't know. Moving on to the next question. One of my one of my good followers on Twitter. Um uh, I, I I like he he's 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 one of the really good guys that I like on Twitter, man. I always give a good opinion. He's positive. And that's Jay in the truck. What's up, Jay in the truck, big dog? Hey, man, love talking to you almost every day on Twitter. Love seeing your standpoint. Thanks for all your comments and everything, man. Jay, you are a pound for pound ATL family member, and that is no question about it. And now, Jay in the truck hit me with a good question, big dog. Hey, Jay, you also, if you in that truck, if that's an 18, that's the 18 wheel of that truck, you be safe out there on the roads, and you are the backbone of the United States. When it comes to moving that, that, that product around, big dog. Keep doing your thing. Need more like it. But he had a good question. He said, who will lead the Falcons in rushing? Good question. Who he, he, he also put the name. He also made a list for me to choose from. Because I like A, B, C, or D. That's a good. You know me, Jay. I, I, I like multiple choice. That's the only way I can pass the test. I dropped out in the third grade. So you know that you can hook your boy up. He gave me a list. He said, who will lead the Falcons in rushing? He said, Mike Davis, Edo Smith, or a free agent that we ain't signed yet, or a rookie that we might pick in the draft. And I'm going to start up there with Mike Davis. I think Mike Davis going to be the second. Or Mike Davis going to be right now. First or second. He either going to be leading or he going to be in second. Edo Smith, I don't think so. Edo Smith is going to be Arthur Smith passing down back. 
kind of what James White was over there at the Tennessee Titans for Derrick Henry. I think Edo Smith is going to be that James White that uh, that James White was to Derrick Henry over there at with the Tennessee Titans. I think Edo Smith is going to be that third down guy, I, and I can see that kind of how he how Kyle Arthur Smith viewed James White over there with the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry. Now, as far as a free agent to sign, I, I don't think I think we're done when it comes to free agent. I think we're done with I think we're done with that running back room. I don't think we're gonna sign another running back. I think we're gonna lean heavily on the draft to get whatever running back we we, we got we we need to get and bring in to 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 compete for a spot in the starting position and, be, and a person that could probably come in and take that heavy load. I think we're gonna do that in the draft. I don't think we signed a no more free agent running backs. I think that is over. It's, we're going to see what we get in the draft. We don't get that in the draft, which will be very surprising to me. Then we're going to sign another one. But I think we're waiting for the draft now. Since we got Mike Davis, got Eno Smith, I don't know what. Once again, I have no idea what Quan J. Olison going to do. Y- y'all got a better idea than I do. But he probably need to do something because you're going to be fighting for a roster spot here. Come on, um, April 19th, April 20th, run up in there. Everything finna kick off for the new head coaches on the new team. It's kicking off. Anyway, so rookie draft pick. I think Mike Mike Davis in the rookie draft pick gonna be doing this on one and two in rushing. I think in the beginning Mike Davis gonna be up here. The rookie gonna be down here, and then slowly it's gonna do it. Start doing this. That rookie is starting to get more carries. Mike Davis gonna get a little more less carries. Then they gonna be about even carries, and then towards the end, trying to bucket down the end. I think that rookie. Draft pick, it's going to get more carries. And, and, and I, I don't know. It's going, to be between, it's going to be between Mike Davis and that rookie running back that we draft in the 2021 draft coming up here soon. This is what it is. Jay in the truck, appreciate the question. Pound for pound ATL. Shout out to Toby D. Shout out to JR. Shout out to Big Mike Doug. Hey, man. This is Ask Jimbo, first edition. Going down. Put him over there on Twitter. Follow me at Twitter, at Jimmy Obama, J-I-M-M-Y-O-B-A-M-A. And I answer them questions here, man, on the show every Friday. Holla at your boy. That's it, big dog. Until next week, man, I'll be getting with y'all on these questions. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. Please, like, share, and subscribe. Support your boys over here, man. We working hard. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Shout out to the fellas. See y'all on that live show. Hey, ch- tune in to Think Tank. Hey, tune in to Falcons I View and tune in to uh, the Big Mike Joint. It's going down, man. It's Pine for Pine ATL. It's your boy Jimbo Slice, a.k.a. Jimbo, a.k.a. Jimbo Dean, a.k.a. Jimmy Obama. Call me any one of those you want. But don't call me no damn New Orleans Saints fan. Peace and bye. Be safe. Wear your mask. Rise up.